10.2.2 ways of reducing the uses of resources we need to reduce we need to and um, remember we talked about sustainable development we were talking about meeting the needs of the current generation without imposing on the ability of future generations to meet their own needs we need to reduce the amount of limited resources that we have we need to um, limit reduce the amount of energy sources that we use we need to reduce the amount of waste uh, and how that impacts the environment and our environmental impact from extracting and quarrying and all mining and all of these things. So four areas there we need to reduce. We need to reduce the amount of limited resources we use, the amount of energy sources we use, the waste impact and the environmental impact. Those are four areas. So how can this be done? Well, think about it. The three R's. First of all, we can reduce the amount of the materials that we use. So reduction in the amount of materials we use. Next one, the reuse of materials. That is without processing costs. So imagine you get a milk bottle through the milkman and you leave it on your doorstep. It doesn't smash. It gets cleaned and it gets used again. It's reused without being processed. Or there's the third area, which is the recycling of materials, which does include processes which do require energy, which do have an environmental impact, but they reduce the amount of limited resources that we've used. So what we're we talking about? Well, metals, glass, building materials, clays, uh, ceramics, most plastics are produced from limited resources. Most energy comes from limited resources too. So if we reduce these things and reduce the amount of energy we need, we're having an impact um, a positive impact on the use of reducing the amount of resources that we're using. Also quarrying and mining raw materials, that has an impact on the environment, which if we reduce the amount, the, if we want to reduce the impact on the environment, then we need to be reducing how much we use these materials. So what can we do? Well, think back to the blast furnace where iron is produced. If there's any scrap iron, that could be introduced to the iron for the blast furnace and that will reduce the amount of iron that needs to be extracted from iron ores. So instead of requiring more iron ore to be used, we can use scrap metal in the blast furnace process, which will produce still the high level of uh, high purity of iron that we need, but it also reduces the amount of iron ore that needs to be extracted. Glass, glass bottles, there's a, a big glass recycling drive going on and you understand why. The glass can be reused or it can be crushed and melted to make different glass products. So instead of requiring the raw materials to be used, we're using glass that's already been produced. It's crushed and it's melted and it's reused with some processing costs. Metals, metals can also be recycled by melting and recasting them into different products. So all these ways are ways of reducing the use of resources and with that we're allowing sustainable development. We're able to meet the needs of the current generation without jeopardizing the chances of future generations from meeting their needs. I hope this really helps you get your head around the ways we can reduce our use of resources.